Uh, the first of those is how to log in and uh, configure your router. Uh, this can be seen on other tutorials on YouTube, which you're welcome to use. Um, I'm going to be speaking a little more specifically to how it is you can force users, uh, both who have administrative rights on your network and those who do not, uh, forcing their computers to use the OpenDNS uh, servers via your router. So I'll talk about what some of that means. Most of you uh, will have a router that looks uh, something like this. This is a small photograph of one that I own. Uh, it happens to be a Netgear. Now in order to get the settings on how to log into your router on your computer, you're going to turn your router over and on the bottom uh, you're going to see uh, the brand of router if you look here and uh, also a model number. In this case this doesn't happen to be the model of mine but it's DG834G. You'll just want to ignore these uh, this Mac uh, number here and the serial number here. Uh, we're just looking for model number. Uh, so what you'll go ahead and do then at that point is uh, you'll go over here and you will search for your model. Uh, mine's a Netgear router, WGR614V9. So I'll go ahead and search for that. And as you can tell, I can find the router setup manual in a variety of different places, uh, either on a download site from Netgear uh, uh, or on other sites. So you're able to get that. Once you log in or get instructions, rather, uh, from the PDF that you download, uh, you're going to want to log into your router based on the instructions in that document and that document obviously is unique to your particular model of router. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you what my router looks like. Uh, I'm logged into the router and I'm going to go ahead and click basic settings. It's a little bit different in, uh, in every router. But if you'll look here, I've got it uh, set up uh, so that all of my traffic that comes uh, to my computer uh, is going to be running through the OpenDNS servers, which you can see here the 208, 67, 222, 222, and then the secondary DNS here as well. And I receive those from the OpenDNS site. So this will uh, go ahead and have all traffic filtered through uh, those routers, which will filter the content. Now there is a way uh, for users, uh, if they have administrative rights on your network, uh, to get into the networking properties and to bypass uh, the open DNS uh, server settings that you set on your router. Uh, way around this, you can force all users uh, within your network uh, to do that, and I'm going to show you how to, uh, to do that. So if you'll come over here, and again, every router is different. Uh, within some routers, it will say uh, block services, access control, port filtering. It goes by different names, but uh, on mine, it happens to be block services. So I'll go ahead and click there. And I have services blocking set to always. And I clicked add a little bit earlier. And I uh, created a content filter. It's just what I named it uh, to block uh, traffic on port 83, which is a port that they would use to circumvent uh, uh, the router uh, settings that you put on uh, connected to OpenDNS. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'll go ahead and edit it here. So I just titled it content filter. Um, the TCP UDP is what you want to select. Starting port and ending port were 53. So I'm, I'm blocking port 53. And then I chose all IP addresses and clicked accept. So what that's going to do is it's going to allow people that are on the network and either administrators uh, on the network, neighbors, friends that have their own computers that I don't have administrative access on, but that are connected to my wireless network, it will keep them uh, from pulling content, at least within my home, uh, on my router anyway, uh, from any sites other than those that are uh, supported uh, by the OpenDNS settings that I have configured at uh, OpenDNS's site. And this is obviously where I put in my settings. And uh, on the Netgear router, I've got it set up so that it uh, filters through those settings. I've got it typed up. A lot of this sounds like technological uh, babble. And so I've typed a bunch of that up, and I'm going to move that onto your screen now and uh, move it about here. Uh, that way you can see it here. So this is a bulk of uh, what I just talked about in plain English uh, without some of the steps, of course, that I just showed you. So my recommendation would be to read over this uh, to better understand uh, what I was speaking about and, more importantly, to understand how you can go into your own router and change it. Thanks for watching.